Good. So, we looked at last class the force balance and the metal transfer kinetics, right. So, we, uh, so we looked at various forces that aid the metal transfer and uh, the, the forces which resist the transfer, right. So, what are the forces that aid the metal transfer? Gravity, if it is favorable, okay. So, if the angle between uh, the arc axis and the vertical, okay. So, if it is uh, parallel or uh, 0, then you get the maximum, okay. So, that means that the downward welding, so you get uh, the gravity influenced favorably for, for detaching the droplet, okay. Th the droplet size also influenced by the force balance, okay. If the gravity is the major force that controls the detachment, then the, 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 the globes, the droplets should gain enough mass to maximize the gravitational force, right. And then we looked at the second force which is plasma and drag force or aerodynamic force, okay. So, which is a function of your shielding gas as well as the, the process characteristics, okay. So, that you can play around by changing the velocity and uh, you can also change by changing the shielding gas. So, the, the gas which gives the maximum or core density or plasma jet velocity. So, you will also promote by detachment by making or by inducing the more plasma drag force, right. And then third force, what is the third force? Lorentz force. So, Lorentz force in most of the case, cases it aids the detachment, is not it? So, especially if the Lorentz force is diverging from the tip that aids the detachment, okay. And if it converges then it resists the detachment, right. So, the Lorentz force in most of the welding cases it aids and Lorentz force becomes rate controlling when the current is increased to beyond critical limit, okay. So especially so when uh, the current is increased and you also see the change in dropper diameter, okay, from the globular to rippled globular and then it becomes spray. So, in spray case, in spray transfer uh, case, the Lorentz force is rate controlling, right. And the droplet diameter becomes equal or less than the wire diameter, okay, is so when you achieve the spray transition, right. And what are the two other forces which resist the uh, detachment? Surface, Surface tension and then vapor pressure. So, vapor pressure is created because of the vaporization of the well pool and the pressure, uh, the, the vapor which is generated, it pushed towards the droplet and this vapor force generated from this vapor always resist the detachment, right. And uh, the vapor force is also the reason why you have a ripple transfer, okay. So, globular becomes ripple globular because the vapor push, vapor pressure pushes the droplet leading to change in shape and due to that you also change the, the magnetic forces inside the droplet. And then the droplet becomes uh, from globular to uh, the shape of a an, uh, an, uh, circus buffoon shoe. Right. So, we looked at the video as well. So, how the ripple transfer uh, takes place, slightly higher current with high vapor, vapor jet force pushing the droplet, right. So, these are the five major forces that control the droplet attachment and we also looked at an example using a 1.2 mm carbon wire. So, how the droplet transfer change as a function of current, okay. So, we looked at the, the curve. Okay, so, diameter or transfer frequency as a function of current, right. Now, how does the diameter change? So, you have a larger diameter because at lower current gravity is the major rate controlling, is not it? So, you need to generate enough mass, okay. So, it, it, it decreases like that, okay. Upon certain current, from globular it becomes spray, okay. So, the, uh, uh, the transfer frequency increases as a function of current as well, okay. So, upon certain current the transition becomes from globular or ripple globular to spray and that current is known as spray transition current. So, most of the GMAW operations are carried out in and around spray transition. So, that we promote spray transition and we also 
make sure that the transfer is stable. So, if you increase the current further, the spray transfer becomes jetting spray. Okay, so then uh, there is a possibility of uh, uh, creating spatter and the explosion when the droplet is detached because of uh, tremendous increase in Lorentz force as well as the vapor pressure. Because when you increase the current, the arc, the, the current density also increases, isn't it? E. So the heat generated in the arc also increases tremendously. So you end up generating more heat. And the heat input increases or arc energy increases because V A by speed is the arc energy, right? So once the arc energy increases, you also input more heat leading to vaporization and that can influence the detachment as well. So if you increase the current much beyond spray transition, so jetting spray on or even further rotating jetting spray or even explosive transfer can take place. So in for the most stable operations, the GMAW welding is generally carried out in and around spray transition current. Okay, so that uh, is the, uh, the very important uh, the, the, the window we operate. So when you design a welding processor specification WPS, so one of the factors which actually we consider is the spray transition and what current for a given wire, wire diameter the spray transition is uh, observed. Okay, and then we play around the other parameters, say for example if you want to to uh, control the heat input. So we can also play around with the shielding gas or you can also play around with the, the arc length, wire feed rate and so on and so forth, right, it is clear. So the ideal transfer is spray transition. So when you, when the current is in and around spray transition, you get an uh, ideal transfer in spray mode where the droplet diameter is almost equal to the filler diameter. Okay, so that transfer is known as drop transfer. Okay, so this drop transfer happens just above the spray transition, where the droplet is transferred, the diameter equal to the filler wire. And this is considered ideal transfer mode because and you also increase the productivity by achieving the spray and the droplet becomes very stable and it is not deflected and if you have ripple globular or jetting spray, so the uh, your droplet transfer is, ref, is, is deflected to the other directions than the, the arc central. So when you achieve a drop transfer, you transfer a droplet precisely at the arc center, okay, as well as the diameter equal to the filler wire uh, with a very good uh, transfer frequency. So this drop transfer is considered the best transfer mode. This is spray because it is transferred continuously and generally happens just above the spray transition current. So you once you achieve uh, such a transfer and this is the best transfer mode you can have. Okay, so this is known as drop transfer spray, drop spray transfer, where the, the Doppler diameter is equal to the filler diameter. So it happens in such a way that, so you have an, a droplet molten and then you form a neck, okay, so, so when uh, the droplet, the transfer forces succeed, yeah, succeed the, the detachment forces and droplet is getting detached by forming a neck because it, it is overcoming the surface tension and the vapor force. So you form a neck and then droplet is detached as a free flight with a diameter equal to the filler diameter. And this happens continuously in a spray mode. So if you have jetting spray, then the, the, the droplet which is detached will be attached to the, the other droplet is coming out, is not it? So then you will have a continuous stream of a molten droplet transferred, right? And if that is the case and you also create enormous the magnetic field inside the droplet and you would see the droplet once you achieve the jetting spray, the transfer, the spray would be oscillating or sometimes you are rotating because of the influence of magnetic field and Lorentz force and that is not advisable because then that will lead to spatter and the moment uh, the liquid metal uh, more surface area is exposed to arc, you also vaporize, right? And uh, that would lead to 
the increased fume generation or the smoke generation and then you will also have a spatter. So, the moment you create an enormous amount of Lorentz force, the vapor can also explode, uh, the droplet can also be explode, exploded, right. So, this is the ideal transfer you would, uh, you would get which is in spray mode where the droplet diameter is equal to the fill away diameter, right. And this can be achieved in most of the cases by using pulsing, okay. So, the, the pulsed current promotes drop transfer. Okay. So, we will come to the come back to that later, but we will see look at the video how this transfer happens in, uh, in, in real life. Okay, see that? So, I am giving a pulse here and every pulse there is a droplet detached and this is recorded using high speed camera. So, what you see over here is uh, it, it happened in within, within a second the entire video even less than a second. So, you transfer uh, uh, as much droplet as possible. So, when you are recording with high speed uh, uh, within uh, frames of 10,000 frames per second, okay. So, you would see a number of droplet detached. So, you see that there is a neck formation, okay. So, the, the neck formation is very critical here, okay. So, the moment the droplet is formed, it is pulled down by the Lorentz force plus the gravity and as well as the plasma jet force. So, droplet once it forms, the surface tension is trying to keep the droplet, is not it? That is why you form the neck. Okay, the force, so the, the, the aiding force should, detach, should resist the surface tension. So, this neck formation is due to these, the surface tension which is trying to keep the droplet intact with the wire. Okay, so, the once the, the, the neck is formed, obviously the increase in Lorentz force would pull the droplet down, right. So, this is the drop spray, right? And this is uh, the most preferred the metal transfer mode in GMAW, where you have a spray mode. So, you are not, not compromising the productivity, and also the droplet is extremely stable and it transferred to the the work piece at a right angle which is actually beneficial because then you can also control the, the metal transfer such a way that you will have a, a, a less pattern. Yes, it is clear. So, compared to these and if you have a, a spray or jetting spray and the global or global ripple transfer and you have the so material will be the droplet will be transferred too much larger area. You see here this is uh, sort of an, the diameter when it is transferred much smaller than the fill over diameter is not it and it is also continuous spray, right. So, this is what we known as a jetting spray. You see that the droplet is transferred to a varying angle, is not it. Same here when you transfer in globular are rippled globular and you also form lot of spatter. So, because of a huge mass when it is exposed to the arc column pressure and you also create an, a magnetic field because of the Lorentz force that, that are contained in the droplet and you may expect the droplet to explode sometime causing spatter, right. So, whereas, in jetting spray you have a high productivity because you the transfer rate is much higher but the project the, the, uh, the stability of the, the process is affected because of the, the exceeding uh, uh, forces that aids the droplet transfer which are Lorentz force, right and then plasma jet force, yes it is clear. So, the, the most preferred tra the transfer mode is the drop spray mode where you, you transfer the droplet the diameter similar to the, the filler wire, right and this happens just above the spray, spray transition, okay. So, in order to achieve the spray transition and you have to have the current increase to certain amount, is not it. So, you have to increase the current 
to a certain amount say about 200 amperes say in this case. And if you have a constant uh, uh, current, so then you will have to give about 200 amperes. But when you are doing pulsing and you can also achieve this mean current by giving a pulsing where the I mean will be much lower. Okay. For example, in a constant current mode, if the spray transition happens at 200, I mean, mean current and you can also achieve the spray transition when you are giving pulsing, okay, you can pulse between 350 amperes to say uh, minimum say 20 amperes on this time. Whereas in this case, the mean current will be much much slower than 200 amperes in pulsing, but still you may achieve the spray transition, is not it? Because so when you are giving one pulsing and during this pulsing the current goes 350 amperes I p the peak current is not it. So, you would immediately melt the droplet and droplet can be attached because of the increasing in Lorentz force right. Whereas, in this case the current is constant where in I mean in constant current is 200 amperes, whereas in here in 150 amperes in the pulsing case you can achieve a Doppler transfer in drop spray mode. So, that is why pulsing is always advantageous okay, because you can achieve the spray transfer in much lower mean current. Right? Again we will see when we in detail when you are looking pulse GMAW. So, right now what I want to say here is in order to promote the spray transfer we will have to increase the current above spray transition current. Okay. And uh, the spray transition current for constant current GMAW whereas in pulse current GMAW the mean current will be different. In pulse GMAW the mean current will be much lower to achieve the spray transition. Right? Is clear? Any question so far? Okay, good. So, the, the uh, varying uh, uh, as a function of diameter the spray transition current also, current also changes. Okay. So, for example, we for a given shielding gas for 1.2 mm filler wire that is the most commonly used filler wire diameter. So, in this case plain carbon steel wire 240 is the, the spray transition current right for in a, in a constant current uh, configuration and if you are using pulsing it can happen 200 amperes much lower than what you have it in a constant current mode right. And you also see by increasing carbon dioxide what happens? Spray transition current increases. Why? Because the arc energy, right? The heat in arc, the heat uh, energy in arc is decreasing, right? Because of increasing carbon dioxide. So, you need to increase the current to compensate the decreasing in heat distribution in the arc. Right. Again, it comes from the physics of shielding. It's clear. Good. So when you increase the current even further from drop spray, spray becomes streaming spray. So streaming spray is characterized by so much smaller in diameter of the filler, which is transferring to the workpiece, and you have a continuous small diameter overlapping, leading to a, a, a complete spray, continuous spray going to the workpiece. It happens in very high current, generally in the in a 1.2 mm plain carbon steel more than 300 amperes and then leading to a partial molting of the tapering of the electrode tip and then you get a very fine droplet transferring. Okay, so, this happens because of significant increasing Lorentz force, right, because of very high current. Okay, so, generally it happens in high resistance and small diameter filler okay, because then you also promote the effect in of Lorentz force. And once you have the streaming transfer, it will also cause well put turbulence. So, obviously you have enormous amount of liquid going like an open a, in a bucket, open a tap at high, high speed and in another bucket you open a bucket in a, in a drop which would have a maximum turbulence. Obviously, when you open that tap fully and you see the enormous turbulence in the bucket of water, right. So, 
because of that the whirlpool stability is also decreasing right you also affect the fluid flow your fluid flow is not controlled then you also have influence of this in the subsequent nucleation the microstructure development as well right it's clear so we look at drop transfer so main characteristic i have just listed down the drop transfer is the which is ideal transfer mode isn't it it occurs very narrow range just above the spray transition okay and it, it, so from the video what you see, what you what you saw it is characterized by a conic neck at the tip and diameter is equal to the phyllovi diameter okay so you see the droplet is suspended by the surface tension okay and then detached right and in this mode we can also achieve a high droplet transfer rate okay with very low spatter so if you look at 1.2 mm carbon steel wire it happens at 250 270 ampere age with argon fiber and co2 so you see the velocity top velocities of 117 mm per second we can achieve okay so in order to achieve this transfer the parameters should be closely controlled okay it's 250 to 270 amps so that is the range you need to operate in a constant current in a pulsing it is promoted because we can play around each pulse you can make one droplet transfer okay like a video i showed you right so what is ideal transfer is a drop spray transfer 